Who is this dude? VA Fitness? Look at his capped shoulders. Them striations. His sudden growth of muscle mass. Hmm. For his first show, he competed in the biggest bodybuilding show in Ireland, which is not tested. He claims on his page that he is natural. Something is fishy. I think he's definitely a thick daddy. Hey bros, how are y'all doing? As you may have already guessed, in this video I'll be exposing bodybuilders who claim to be natural, yet they are obviously not, and for whatever reason, they're saying otherwise. People who I have included in this video were your top request on Instagram questionnaire. So here you have it. I could be totally wrong in my accusations, or I could be right, but I'm just giving you my opinion on what I see. And finally, just before we begin, I want to know that I'm not trying to offend anyone or bring someone down just because they're on stuff. I'm just doing it for fun. That's it. I'm natural myself and I'm not planning to enhance myself in any way for a foreseeable future. Because first of all, it is not my goal to be the biggest guy in the gym or out there. And secondly, it is the health risks that are associated with any enhancing drugs. I don't have anything against people who are taking enhancing drugs because most guys and girls in fitness industry uh, are using or have used them in the past. Uh, and in fact, I admire bodybuilders like Brandon Harding, shout out to him, who opened up and is completely honest about his stereotype. Uh, but I don't appreciate the guys who claim to be natural, but um, are definitely not naturals. And they promote a diet and training plans and say that anyone can achieve their physique if they follow their plan, but they don't mention of d ball test, and of our cycles that they're on. I have no clue why are they hiding their anabolic abuse. Is it because that they're afraid that they would get a lot of hate? I don't know. I don't know, man. He's kind of gave me. I think exactly the opposite would happen. Just like with Brandon and Harding uh, or any other bodybuilder that opened up and who's honest about it, they'll just get more respect from other people. Anyways, the intro took a bit too long, so let's get controversial. Right, first up, the biggest requested bodybuilder was... Simeon Panda, who would have thought. I have no idea why Brandon Harding in his similar video said that he's natural. Personally, I think Simeon Panda is natural. Because he's clearly not. Look at his physique, his size. He's shredded all year round. And some of you honestly think he's natural? Come on, really? Okay, genetics play a vital role in muscle mass development, physique, metabolism, etc but I don't think he's natural. I'm not an expert and I don't know what he's been taking uh, to stay shredded, uh, to have uh, muscle mass as he does, but I'm certain that he's not natural. If you think he's natural, you might as well say that Blessing Abudibu is natural. It's clear because of genetics that he looks like a King Kong. Anyhow, Let's get on to our second most requested fitness influencer. My homie Irish bodybuilder with a great personality who have competed in the past but unfortunately doesn't anymore has over 500k followers on Instagram and almost 500,000 on YouTube. Rob Weasley. Rob Lipset, everyone. 
What is going on everybody? Welcome to today's video. 2016 Rob is back. Since we live in the same country, well, used to live Rob moved over to UK. He doesn't live in Ireland anymore. I am moving to London in the morning. There was a lot of debate whether he's enhanced or natural. And even now I still argue with people who claim that he's enhanced. He likes to party, enjoy the food. He looks incredible on all of his pics but not always on his videos or pictures where he gets tagged, probably because the angle wasn't pleasing his gains, the lighting was bad, or he usually photoshopped his pics, I don't know, and don't really care. We're here to discuss whether he's natural or not. And I'm 99% certain that he's natural. You haven't gained in size for a long time, and for a natural to grow when you reach your natural peak is almost impossible, and that is what I think happened. He looks awesome and all, but I do not think that he's enhanced, period. Moving on. Next up is Jeffrey. I am the king. No, not this one. Jeff's side, y'all. My name is Jeff. It's Jeffrey, man. A model, a pussy magnet, a Ken doll and whatnot. I wonder if he's just like a Ken doll. Mm. He has almost 4 million followers on Instagram and 1.2 million subscribers on YouTube. David Lay look alike or as if Justin Bieber was on steroids. Ah, yes. He is a fake daddy. Boom. Claims that he's not, but he's a fake natty. It has been said multiple times that he's not natural and I totally agree. He's well built, shredded all year round, might not be taking anything now because he's not getting any bigger but I think he definitely took in the past could be taking clan or Sarms to keep on staying shredded next we got Zach Perna another Ken doll a youtuber with 645,000 subscribers Gymshack athlete and an Instagram influencer with over 500,000 followers he has a great physique it's achievable naturally if you compare it with some serious anabolic users in his 15 to 21 years of age natural transformation uh, it looks like he could have taken d-ball and clan before he competed but it could also be his genetics that got him so big in six years it is possible with the right dieting and training plus since this video was uploaded in 2016 it looks like he peaked just like Rob Lipset uh, and he hasn't put on a lot of muscle mass up until the present so I'll give him the benefit of the doubt and give him the status of a uh, natural all right next one an entrepreneur with multiple businesses a fitness influencer with 1.2 million followers on Instagram and almost 1 million subscribers on YouTube. Just a sick and down to earth dude who I've had a chance of meeting at Body Power last year and can't wait to see him again this year. Christian Guzman. What's going on guys? Looking at his past pictures and videos from the beginning of his YouTube and Instagram and up until the present, I can totally say that he's natural. Wait, is it deal? Hmm. On pictures just before his show, he looks so peeled and shredded, it looks stupid crazy. Mind blowing shredded. Stupid peeled. But was he taking something? I don't know. There was a lot of discussion, but I think not. I think not. Just because someone is looking crazy and shredded on Instagram, it doesn't mean they look like that all the time. Instagram pictures are taken with the best lighting, best pump, best angle, and possibly photoshopped as well. But from his videos from the show, he looked probably a bit better than I did on my show. Okay, some people thought that I was taking clan before my show because I looked crazy shredded on my pictures as well. But on the show, I wasn't that big and only placed fifth in men's physique in nationals in Ireland. Whereas he competed in a regional show in United States and got fourth place. 
yeah, men's physique, which is still great, don't get me wrong. For a natural, that's an amazing result to compete in a non-tested show and get anywhere in top six. He worked hard on his body and his businesses for at least 10 years. And if you see him fully clothed and normal streetwear, you wouldn't think he's massive or that he's a bodybuilder. He's just a general dude. In the gym, of course, he looks huge, but it's because he has good genetics, worked hard all that time. For me, he earned the title of True Natty. Right, our last bodybuilder. An icon that you probably have seen on many magazine covers, ads, billboards, movies, and whatnot for many, many years. And surprisingly, he has been only getting bigger and leaner with age. Weird, huh? Mike O'Hearn, ladies and gentlemen, the icon, the idol of many, many people. He's definitely a natural bodybuilder and never took steroids and any enhancing drugs in his life. He's so big and shredded at his age of 51 just because of his awesome genetics and dedication to health and fitness. Come on guys, really? This guy has been on so many enhancing drugs that I'm surprised he's still alive. Did anyone really think he's natural? Okay guys, I think it's enough said for one video and I hope no one got triggered by me talking absolute rubbish. And as I said, it was all done for fun. No hate intended to any of the athletes. If you liked that video, smash your likes and if we'll get more than 1000 likes, I'll make a second video similar to that one. Uh, because, uh, yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to my channel, hit the bell, well, you know all this is. And yeah, stay safe, guys. Peace. Autonomy is an illusion.